The fourth Overwatch League season is barely a month away, and so I hear the audible raising of your eyebrows as you wonder to yourself who all of these young whippersnappers are on your lawn and in your Overwatch League teams. Well, for good news for you, but as a patron of Overwatch Contend, as I live and breathe rookies. I haven't breathed oxygen since 2018. It's rookie-only gaseous exchange, which sustains me. When I play chess, I play only with rooks. That's how much I know rookies. And with this immersion in the origins of rookies, I'm here to tell you what to look for when you're investing your big dollars in this new talent. Let's make like a German invasion in the late 30s and start with the tanks, because there is one boy that every person in the Overwatch League is going to be keeping their eye on and putting their money into, and that's Mag. When it comes to fresh main tank pickups, Mag is huge. She's got a well-spread hero pool with constant efficacy and a proven track record of high-level competition with great performances. This guy is the dog's bollocks of new pickups, and especially when you compare him to his predecessor, who many thought was less dog's bollocks and more post-neuter. So, I've grabbed your interest. Awesome. Let's do some due diligence on this investment before you put in your money. First pro, their former runaway. That's good stock right there. The old flower vin stable has never really churned out a dud. Diverse hero pool. We're not going to see too much in the way of seasonal fluctuations in this guy's value. He's a consistent pressure performer across multiple contenders' careers, playoffs, and he's a young talent, so the potential for growth is very, very high. And also, he's going to have a strong tank partner in Fury on the Washington Justice, which is only going to make him more effective. All right, snappy Evan Thanos in a clicking contest. Let's move on to DPS. We're talking choice A1 here. The dude is straight up a poggers projectile DPS who could be effective across a huge range of heroes. And we've seen from McCree in recent tournaments as well, which means I have less fear for charge if they have to put out choice A1 in a potential double hit scan meta or permutation of a composition. But I hear what you're saying. Like they show me the money. We need some due diligence for our investment. So I'm going to say this. Back to number one. This guy's an Element Mystic alumni. These guys have generally pretty safe buys to appreciate over time. He has contenders career experience and that scrimming and training environment creates great talent consistently. Cons though, it's a bit of a risk. There's no real victories <clears throat> under his belt and that could cast doubt in people's minds over Choice Here One's potential for playoff performance metrics and that might come back to bite Guangzhou Charge, but they do have a couple of other DPS if that tends to be the case. Lastly, I've got a spicy under the table investment opportunity for you in the German market. His name is Khan. Formerly known as IBTB or I'll be the best, if you've seen some early contenders Europe games, you'll recognize that name. This kid is basically Kodak 2. Odds are, before the Steel Series Invitational, you hadn't heard of him, but now you've seen that this kid plays some mental Overwatch. So let's do some due diligence together on whether you should invest here. The first thing you got to think about here is that there's low buy-in. No one has really huge expectations of Paris this year, so you can get a lot of growth out of both individual performances from Khan and the team as a whole outdoing any of the original expectations that the community have. Next up, we're talking a wide hero pool, baby. This guy's got the Zen, he's got the Anna, he's got the Moira, he even has the Baptiste, so you're not going to be seeing some huge seasonal stock value shifts when you invest in Khan. For a gains to be made in the transfer market postseason as well, if teams want to try and buy a transfer similar to an FD God situation, who's now backed by Crust after going over to the San Francisco Shock. And lastly, we've got to talk about how a stock of a player gains value, and that can come from both individual excellence and excellence of the team. And with Khan in the flex support spot, even if the overall org underperforms, due to the high mechanical potential and impact level of ultimates like Transcendence, you can see the stock of these players still go upwards. And to give an example of this, I'd point you to stocks like Shockwave, who despite being on a languishing Vancouver Titans, has been picked up by Fusion. So, ladies and gentlemen, these are the rookie stocks that I'm bullish over in this preseason. Invest now and ride this rocket all the way to the moon, baby. And while you're at it, invest a sub in this YouTube channel for funny videos every Monday and our videos every Thursday. This video is not financial advice.